Okay, so with some quick editing magic, we have actually returned to the castle and we are somewhat half health, so we are able to participate in this battle once again. They still have a rather large amount of enemies stationed here, so we'll have to deal with them personally, yes. So, as you can see, I did attempt to actually take out their archer nest, but unfortunately, they do have quite a few up there, so I will have to wait until my reinforcements catch up. Or maybe not. Oh yes, I could actually take them on now. Yes, here we go. Let's do it. Oh yeah, there we go. Very nice. Oh, I'm not used to the length of the sword. It's way too large. At the moment, at least. <laughs> Compared to my usual one, it is rather beastly. It's only five reach longer, but it matters. It makes a rather large difference. And that was a nice bit of Altair. <laughs> Jumping there? Oh yes. Okay, here we go. This is a lot better, this tactic. We're splitting our forces down the middle and one force is going over to fight those forces and we are progressing towards their main majority of archers, which is the main reason why we were taken out before. So, come on. We've got to do this, guys. Come on. I'm trying to slice them up from here, but... Yes, there we go. I got one hit on that archer there. And let's do it. Come on. Okay, I'm actually thinking of jumping right here. Am I? No, no, no. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so here we go. They are not going... They're just going to ignore me, so I'm going to switch to two-handed. Oh, yes. And do a hell of a lot of damage. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, yes. Look at this. Massacre. Oh, yeah. This is what we like to see. Oh, yes. Come on. Even if I go down, it doesn't matter. Berserker Iceni will prevail. And now let's get our shield out again, just in case we get picked off from afar from over there. Who knows? Luckily, this is where their archers are actually spawning in. So we are getting quite a big advantage. <laughs> Don't chance your luck. That's what I have to do. I have to keep telling myself. Reformist, don't chance your luck. Yes, yes. It could always turn the tide of the battle if you get taken out. So, got to be a little bit more cautious. Okay, there we go. Nice, good work. Okay, so how are we doing on the battle map? Okay, so I do need to send in my archers now, and not cavalry, thank you. My Noldor have to go in now, and oh my, we've just been spawned upon. How dare you. No one spawns upon us, we do the spawning around here. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> yes. Okay, here we go. We're going up with our Heretic Magnus and Empire Gladiator units. And quite a few Empire Immortals. When did I get all these Empire Immortals? That's what I want to know. I haven't seen them in combat for such a long time that it's always a surprise whenever I see them. That is really strange. Look at that. I actually have quite a few Empire Immortals. Huh. I haven't trained them specifically either. I must have rescued them or something from one of the vassals or one of the siege efforts that we've actually participated in. Hmm. Might be. And I think that is actually it. Nine enemies remain. And there are a couple of archers over there which we're going to take out. Or which we're going to miss. There we go. And the Empire Gladiator took the last kill. Oh yeah. So there we are. That is Alden or Alden Castle. However you want to say it. Oh yes. 15 renown and 17 morale. 361 units absolutely killed. No one was wounded. So we took no prisoners whatsoever there. Okay, so, yes, we're going to let him go. Yes, we gain honor, very good. And now, this is the difficult part. We actually lost quite a few units, so I have some freedom, at least, to pick the best ones. So I'm definitely going to be taking raiders and lancers. I do enjoy using those. Mist Mountain Warriors. Now, I'm not entirely sure on the stats of those, so I may take one just to take a look. But other than that, I'm not too sure. Yeah, let's take let's take five or six, <laughs> and we'll take some Ravenstone. No, not Ravenstone archers. 
Let's take a long bowman from Sarleon. Young Northern Adventurer, do they become... Yeah, I think they become something. And Rogue Squires. Empire Light Infantry. And... I would like to take some Ravenstone skirmishes. Yeah, let's take some of those. There we go. So I need one. What shall I take for the one? Let's take a farmer. Yeah. That's what we definitely want to do. Okay, so there we go. Now we actually picked up an axe that is worth 3.2k dinars, which is very nice indeed. And now... Who was it? Frederick. Sigismund. Sigismund. Yes. Oh, that was a misclick. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, Sigismund does not like us, I don't think. Oh my. Oh no, he didn't go down at all when I gave Boadis that. Okay, well that's fine. The next fief has his name on it, that's for sure. Okay, so there we are. He has 69 garrison there, very, very good. And now let us level up a few of our units. Ooh, Scorpion Assassins or Blade Masters? I think we'll go for a Scorpion Assassin in this case. They always seem to be quite damaging when we fought them previously. Okay, let's just level these guys and where is the Mist Mountain Warrior that we recruited? I would like to check out his stats really fast. Mist Mountain? Oh, do I actually have them? Somewhere else? Oh, they're here somewhere, aren't they? Ah, here we are. We actually have 17 Mist Mountain Warriors. Oh, okay, so they're not that good, but they have an amazing Weapon Master skill. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, they're actually not too bad. They have a jack-of-all-trades type build, by the looks of things. Power Strike, Power Throw, and Power Draw, all at four. And then they have Athletics at four, Riding at four. Horse Archery, very nice. Oh yeah, I would say they're not too bad. Although they are level 20, which is quite low, but... Their stats are pretty decent, I have to say. So yeah, that's cool. So yes, now we are going to be heading to Rain to defend it. Because as you could see, obviously before we went into Raid Alden, it had become under siege. So let's do it. Who is this guy? Aha, he's one of the defected vassals that came over. Oh, yes, a lot of the Ravenstone vassals are joining the Feared's Vein, which is what I thought they would do. How unfortunate. And that guy is engaging that. Should I help him? <laughs> I actually want to defend Rain, though, first. Yes, look at this. There was actually quite a few here. Whoa, 338 this guy has. Count Ivanas. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well... At least we've chased him off. Lord Roland is here. Only 137 units. Well, that explains why they raided it in the first place. Maybe we should take them on. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. I think we should probably should. Okay. So, yes. Let's go and charge them. Quickly as possible. How much is our speed? We're moving at 4.4, they're moving at 2.8 in the trees. How, how much are we... Uh, yes, we are faster than them. Okay, great. Let's engage. As soon as we can, at least. Here we go. Let's take out the big guy first. Or at least as many as we can. Insolent Kerr, you have something that belongs to me. Talon Crag Castle. Be assured I'll force you to relinquish it. Afterwards, if I feel generous enough to spare your miserable life, you will rot in my dungeon. Oh, that sounds absolutely wonderful, doesn't it? Okay, so... Yes, surrender or die, it seems. <laughs> okay, 489 of our troops are fit for battle, versus 685 of theirs. Thankfully, we're actually on a flat battlefield, so I'll be able to employ some tactics, apart from the fact that I forgot to change the unit tags once again. Well, yes, at least I remembered to give the fief to Sigismund, but I... Also messed that up a little bit as well by misclicking, but yes, uh, we'll be okay, I think. So yes, let's get our cavalry all the way over there and hopefully charge their archers when they are ready. Oh, unfortunately some of these Noldor are actually marked as cavalry, that's always a shame to see, gotta say. And now let's actually charge our infantry. 
And now we will start doing some damage to the halberdiers. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. Okay. Now, the one thing that I am not entirely sure about is obviously after we have conquered the entirety of Pendor, some of you have stated that you would like to see me raid the Noldor town, which I've actually forgotten the name of. So, <laughs> it's like Elro Deer or something. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's not good for me to forget that. That's absolutely amazing. Well, apart from obviously forgetting it, I potentially think that I do not have a force capable of actually doing that, so I would need to gather a huge force, but what I would like to do before I actually do that is obviously win the game officially, because the objectives for Pendor are to get the Nordor, I think, accepting or rather supportive or something like that on that level of relation, and at the moment I don't think they are actually at that level which is rather disappointing so I would need to do a lot more tournaments I think because that is what would give us the relation I think that was what would give us the relation at least I don't know precisely I'll need to do a bit more reading on it because at the moment I have only checked very very sparsely what kind of objectives I need to do and obviously what is needing to be done is take out all the snake cult armies, take out the heretic armies, and I would think the Jatu, the Jatu armies as well, so that would be quite an epic series of sessions, to say the least, because most of the armies in question have quite a large army size, and that would take a long time to just film one of those battles. I mean, 800 or 900 troops, each one, and that would take about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes each battle. So, yeah, that's going to be quite a grueling task, I must say, to undertake. When the time comes, at least. And the time will come once we have taken every single stronghold on the map, and then we will proceed to hunt down and exterminate all of the unique spawns, yes. Hopefully that is the way it's going to go at least. And what did we lose here? Ooh, yes, we lost a Maiden Ranger and an Immortal. Not too bad, I must say, but yes, I do need to reformulate those tags. Oh my goodness, look at that. We have 460 troops against their 460. That is absolutely amazing coincidence right there. 